time now for your forewarned weather with Chief Meteorologist Alana Brophy. All right, let's head on over for another check of that forecast. A lovely day out there. Yes, Alana, what can we expect weather-wise for the week? Well, we're closing it out right now. I have to show you the sunset. Gosh, it's pretty. Yeah, that live view from Deer Valley, which is absolutely stunning. One of the prettiest cameras, gosh, out there. That's the Wasatch Express. Here's the Cherry Peak view in northern Utah, which I just love to see. Absolutely gorgeous with the sun going down and those clear skies are out there. When it comes to your satellite radar, we've got fairly quiet conditions and we stay that way as we get through the last several hours. A few clouds want to sneak on in, but high pressure's in control, keeping us nice and quiet and really mild. You felt it as you stepped out there today, ridiculously mild for November. It's still 57 degrees in Salt Lake City after topping out in the mid-60s. 60 degrees in Moab, 50s in Blanding, 72 in St. George, and a mix of 50s and 60s throughout the state. For the Wasatch Front, we'll see those numbers falling into the 50s for the next several hours. We're still above average and by ABC4 News at 10. Upper 40s, another fairly mild over overnight expected, but we will start to see a change in the pattern. When it comes to wet weather, temperature wise, we hold on to that above average trend for the next several days, really through the end of the work week. Even into the weekend, we get close to seasonal norms and kind of level off where we're supposed to be for the weekend. We do have wet weather though, making its way back into the area. We're going to see this high pressure eventually move. And when it does, it will open the door for a few systems. As we look at the future cast, it keeps us quiet through our Wednesday, but late day, we start to see, there we go, a little bit of precipitation in the southwest corner of the state. Model puts it there at about 8 p.m. Darren Diamond Valley right there on the state line and towards St. George. You could see some isolated showers tomorrow night. This is associated with a system that actually brings wet weather up north for the overnight as we head into early Thursday morning, which means the morning commute does bring the potential of some showers. This is a wetter storm, but it's also a warmer one. We're talking anywhere from a quarter of an inch to half an inch when it comes to that precipitation. Mountain snow, but the snow levels want to stay high with this one. Zooming in at 7 a.m., prime travel time from Brigham City all the way to Provo, it looks like that wet weather wants to hang. Also the case for the Tooele and Rush Valley area and over I-80 backside of the Wasatch towards Camas. Heber, you're going to see that wet weather as well. Model what clears us out by the afternoon and evening, but I suspect that we will see some showers with that northerly flow continuing as we make it through the afternoon and evening. As we look at snow potential, again, the snow levels stay high, starting at 8,500 feet with the storm, dropping to 7,500 feet, and we're expecting just a few inches above that, above 7,500 feet, maybe one to three inches, the areas that you're seeing in darker blue, which includes the upper cottonwoods, anywhere from three to five, so we'll see what happens, but it's not going to be a huge snowmaker. But it is something, especially as we have several resorts that are backing off of opening. Long range future cast shows a more progressive pattern. Okay, let me walk you through this. Here's Thursday system, which starts to drop in. And this is actually part of the weekend system. So we watch as that Thursday system brings in the wet weather. You're gonna see that move out of the area. And we get calmer conditions in between, which means we close, we close out the work week with a quiet pattern. But this weekend, upper level low wants to move on in. We're just not super clear on the path of this low. It does look to bring potential for wet weather for southern Utah, and then we also look towards the Pacific Northwest because that system could play a role in the weekend as we get the potential for wet weather Saturday into Sunday. But the models have not agreed, and so we're giving a good look, giving you the best guess here, and when it comes down to it, it looks like wet weather in northern Utah for the weekend, and the south could see some showers. 50s and 60s for those highs for tomorrow, 50s and 60s in eastern Utah, 72 in St. George, whereas as you look, we do ease on temperatures and the chance for an isolated shower does stick around. We eventually will get to the 50s. The Wasatch Front bringing in 60s for tomorrow. Another day with isolated showers Thursday. And then we look towards the weekend where we're potentially unsettled with some wet weather. That would be rain. It's going to be soggy. It has the potential to be soggy, mm. but gosh, the weather pattern doesn't want to agree. You saw right. the reason why. A yeah. couple different moving parts. We're going to keep you posted. Okay. okay. Thank yeah. you, Alana.